The oil palm industry is one of the promising sectors which the national government has recognized and is investing heavily in, which includes creating its own ministry to harness its full potential. With the creation of this ministry, the government has pressured the minister responsible, Francis Maneke, to set up its foundations, which includes setting up its legal framework and also a policy to guide the growth of the oil palm industry. The minister for this lucrative commodity has acknowledged the government's funding support to finalize and launch the oil palm policy and bill. As, as we have seen this year, we, we receive about 30 million. That is, as I've said, uh, it's been for preparatory work. That is including this. Uh, there are two bills and the, and the policy, and uh, again the, the identification of provinces or potential areas where we can be able to uh, start working on to to make new developments. While speaking on the important areas captured under the new draft policy, Maneke highlighted the importance of accessing customary land in order to grow the oil palm industry in the country. In order for us to, to see the oil palm as an industry develop in this country, we, we must prioritize in the area of uh, land where we can be able to access more customary land since then. Papua New Guinea, we, Papua New Guineans, they, they own 97% of our land and 3% state owned. Yeah. So under the uh, under the, uh, the records that we have uh, in the country, we, we want to see more land alienated from customary land owners. And that is a government policy. And yeah, that is why this year is a preparatory year. We have to now see to where we can uh, cooperate with other other departments like Department of uh, lands and, and uh, agriculture so that we can be able to pre up some more land. He says the new policy will drive the growth in the oil palm industry and targets to include more participation of people in rural areas. The other target that is under the now government's policy is uh, we, we want to see that there is more participation in, in the, uh, the oil palm development. In doing so, we want to see more Papua New Guineans involved in the business itself and then in the development of the oil palm. The ministry targets to acquire more savanna grassland and deforested land for oil palm projects as captured under the draft policy. And our target again is uh, more grassland or savanna land in Papua New Guinea as it has been in Lei and Medeng and East and West Sipi. Western province, and if it need be, we have to enter into deforested areas, and that is where more assessment or uh, every feasibility study must be into those areas so we can be able to plant uh, oil palm. But otherwise, the agenda is very clear. We want to maximize more actresses in in the oil palm development in Papua New Guinea. In doing so. Appropriately, we can be able to maximize the returns in terms of uh, oil palm, and, and that will boost our economy of our country. At present, the new proposed policy, which will drive and guide the growth of the oil palm industry, has completed its validation workshop on three of the consultation workshops that were hosted in NGI, Momase, and Southern regions. So these are the three regions where oil palm can be grown. Now we have completed the consultations. Uh, we have uh, the uh, there's a team uh, comprised of D DAL, who is the lead uh, department in policy development planning, uh, taking lead in this uh, uh, in this review and development of policy. Then we have treasury, uh, also the key department that is in the forefront in terms of. Uh, uh, policy in terms of uh, uh, reviews in legislation and in terms of development programs uh, for the development needs of this country, they are also involved. And we have uh, other government departments as well. And this team um, has undertaken the, uh, the uh, drafting of the bills and the policy. Uh, during the validation workshop, key government stakeholders were brought in to validate their contribution to the draft policy.
in this workshop, what we are doing is we are validating that, and we are bringing key government uh, stakeholders to validate that, because uh, key government departments who are involved around policy, involved around economics, and involved around what we are doing have to uh, give their inputs. Uh, they've already given the inputs. They need to come back and see uh, whether the inputs have been captured in the policy or not. The newly appointed Secretary for the Agriculture Department has also pledged to fully support the ministry in its aspirations as highlighted under the policy. So it gives me pleasure to be able to partake in uh, this policy and the two acts that will be uh, following. The oil palm industry is the leading agriculture uh, export commodity in this country. Of the four uh, billion or so uh, import uh, earnings or export earnings of uh, what we export, uh, the oil palm industry brings in 40 or 50 percent of that, so close to two million, two, two billion in terms of uh, earnings to this country. So we, <coughs> we applaud the oil palm industry and the work, uh, the, the foreign earnings that they bring into our country. And looking forward, by 2027, in the medium term plan for the government, the Marafi Rose government has, has put a, uh, an achievement of, uh, of the, that, that the agriculture export from all our commodities must double by the end of 2027. And in doubling our export uh, and the growth of other economies in our country, the government has put that by 2027 the GDP or the budget of the government will be at 200 billion. At 200 billion of which 20% of that must come from the agriculture sector. And that works to 40 billion. And indeed, of that 40 billion that the agriculture will contribute, it, it is likely and possible, very possible, that, that the oil palm industry will contribute half of that. 20 billion. With this new reform soon to be introduced in the oil palm industry, the ministry has revealed that its estimated budget for next year will be around 80 million kina. Uh, this government has been targeting 100,000 100, hectares, 100,000 hectares per annum. So from next year, we, we will have to produce a budget that will have to cater for the 100,000 hectares and so as other activities. So, programs that we we'll have to uh, deliver. Uh, that is if we want to get the 100,000 hectares developed. This is preparatory here and the target of 100,000 hectares will be looking at about, it will be a little bit excessive, about 80, 80, 80 million kina uh, based on the MTDB war. Minister Francis Maneke has been fully supporting this initiative as it is part of his key result area designated by the Maraperoso government. The policy and the two new bills proposed for the oil palm industry is expected to be launched soon.